head balance. If you have a spine and a skull, you need to know about head balance. Whether you're a human, a horse, a goat, or even a sculpture, if your head is not in balance, you will be in trouble. Some of you may be a bit worried, but I'm going to tell you, when you go shopping, <laughs> to bring it back on your head and what the neighbour's going to say. Could you just pass this around once again, just to see all the way to that? But actually, I'm not going to tell you that. That's not the point of this. This is the weight, the average weight of the human head. Where is your head? Are you sure you know where it is? It's vaguely up there, isn't it? Do you know if you're holding it to one side? or moving it backwards or forwards, or is it forwards, is it back? There's a lot of possibility for it. But what we want, we look Horace here can show, is a nice, actually he can't show too well because he's got a hole stuck up in. <laughs> but this vertebrae here, this set of vertebrae, really quite slender, and you're asking quite a lot of it to balance that weight on top. And if you're pulling that weight around, you're going to be putting a lot of strain on the neck. And of course, the neck is connected to the back, and you're going to be putting strain on the back too. We want that ability to keep it balanced, unless there's a reason to move it, to keep it in that nice relationship. And the thing Alexander discovered was if you keep this going, the whole body works better. The whole system, your breathing, your blood flow, your digestion, everything is going to function better. And you might be able to think of a few reasons why, if you think about what goes on in your neck. There's an awful lot of important stuff in there. There's your blood flow to your brain, without which you wouldn't live. There's your airways, taking the air in, expelling carbon dioxide. If that didn't happen, you wouldn't live. There's your nerve system. Your nervous system goes down your spine, and that is taking messages out to all your muscles. Without that, you couldn't move. And it's bringing back messages from all over your body saying what's going on and without that you wouldn't know how to move. It's got your voice box. Ah, I nearly forgot what I'm using right now. <laughs> your voice box. If you start squashing that, as singers will know, that won't function at all well. It won't function well if you're giving a talk, if you want to present yourself well in a business setting, you need your voice. You need it nice and open and working well. So just in this patch, you can understand that there's an awful lot you can interfere with if you're heaving it about, if you're putting undue pressure on it because of the way you're holding your head habitually. So what I would like to do now is just to go around and help you with this very simple movement of standing and sitting. And what we're going to do is have the teachers who are here to actually put hands on your neck and encourage you to keep your neck nice and free, not tightening up, not pulling your head back, and see what happens. And again, it's an experiment. So, this is what counts as hard work in Alexander's technique. <laughs> as you can see, it's very gentle, but it is quite interesting seeing what's going on in yourself. I hope you've got some sense of that. Um, when you're being guided, you can really understand what your muscles are doing a bit better. One way of improving head balance yourself 
is a procedure that we encourage people to adopt on a daily basis. It's a way of helping you become more aware of the alignment between your spine and the rest of your body. It's also a way of increasing awareness. It's a way of improving your overall tone and it will help you improve your balance, your coordination and your breathing. There's one more thing we want to remember and that is to keep the eyes open. <laughs> There's two reasons for this. One, I know you're not asleep. <laughs> and the other is you are actually balancing here. You are using your organs of balance, which are in your ears and your eyes are part of the balance mechanism. So your body is learning what it is to lie in this position. Your eyes are informing you where you are and I want you to keep that awareness going. So, whatever you are, whether you're a human, a snow animal, a horse, or a cat, and wherever you are, and whatever you're doing, consider your head balance. Is your head freely poised on the top of your spine, or are you pulling it back? Are you interfering with the natural workings of your body? And if you are, the best advice that we can give you is stop it. <laughs>